This is a uh, second video of my balancer. We're going to be using the adhesive stick-on weights this time. Um, this is actually a steel wheel. Normally you would use stick-ons for uh, alloys, but this is the wheel I'm just going to uh, show you how it works on. Um, the stick-on weights are a lot better, in my opinion, for alloys because you don't need such a gigantic selection of different clips and different increments. They uh, come on a strip. Um, in quarter quarter ounce increments or um, um, half ounce increments, um, and you can pretty much use them for any alloy wheel. Um, they're a little bit neater as well because they stay on the inside. First thing you want to do is uh, make sure the rim is clean. I use a Goo Gone or and uh, brake parts cleaner to make sure it's nice and clean. Um, another thing you're going to want is a scraper like this one. Uh, this is a special plastic scraper, so you, if you're removing old adhesive weights, you don't want to use a screwdriver or a, a metal scraper. You will scratch the rim. So you can get one of these for about ten bucks, a, a decent quality one. Um, you be sure to have one of those. So let's go ahead and spin this. <coughs> So we see here, uh, we need an ounce and a half. Uh, what I like to do is, I like to get the tire position. We're going to rotate it to the 12 o'clock position here till we're in the green. I like to take a tire crayon. And what I'll do is, I'll just mark the 12 o'clock position with a tire crayon. And I like to install the weights off the tire. And then what we'll do is, we'll put it back on the machine to uh, re-spin it. So we'll get off the tire. Now, I clean this rim already, uh, so I don't have to worry about re-cleaning it. Um, it's nice and clean, I just wanted to save some time. These are the weights we're going to be using. Uh, these are the stick-on weights. You can see they're quarter ounce increments. What you want to do is add up the weight you need and then you can just cut the backing of the tape and you can just break them apart and then uh, apply them there. So we'll be using uh, six weights for this application for an ounce and a half. So we can go ahead and we can just kind of break that. We can cut the tape in the back. And then we can finish breaking those apart. All right, and we'll come to our rim here. Um, since we have six weights, what I'm going to do is at our 12 o'clock mark here that we put on before, I'll try to roughly center this, you know, in the middle of three and three, just kind of split the weight. We'll just pull the backing off of this. this right on the inside of the rim and just try to eyeball it as best as we could and we'll put that down there make sure that's nice and stuck and we'll go ahead and put it back on the balancer Spin it in the same mode. And you see here we have a perfectly balanced tire, it's in the zero.